Okay, so let's have a look at the 2021 Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths Paper 2, question 1. Now this uh, question is all about Bernoulli trials. So remember uh, our formula that we're going to use for Bernoulli trial, it's actually on page 33 of your maths tables. It's the probability of um, x equal to or is equal to n choose or times p to the power of or q to the power of n minus or. So we're looking for the probability of or number of successes out of n trials where p is the probability of success and q is the probability of failure. So remember as well that there are four conditions. So from the question you should recognize that we have these conditions. There should be a finite number of trials. So we have 11 players being chosen. In this particular question, I think it is a soccer team of 11 players, including one goalkeeper is picked. So we're picking 11 players. Uh, two outcomes. There should be only two outcomes, success and failure. In this particular question, we have to find the probability that there is exactly one left-footed player on the team. So you can, you can be left-footed or right-footed uh, in this particular question. So we're going to take... It's, it asks here, it says, find the probability that there is exactly one left-footed player on the team. The probability of being left-footed in this particular question is uh, 0 0.15. It says at the very beginning, in a particular population, 15% of the population is left-footed. That means the probability of being right-footed then is 0 0.85. Since we have to find the probability that there is exactly one left-footed player, we're going to take uh, P here as being left-footed, so success, and failure as being uh, right-footed in this particular question. So we have to work out the probability that there is exactly one left-footed player on the team. So what we've got to do here is from a team of 11, find the probability that there is exactly one left-footed player. So it's 11 choose 1. P is the probability of success and in this particular case we're taking success as being left-footed so that's going to be 0 0.15. Got to raise that to the power of or which is 1 and then the probability of failure here is 0 0.85 and that's going to be 11 minus 1 which is 10. So when you work that out, you get 0 0.325, 0 0.325, and that is correct to three decimal places. To three decimal places. And that's it for part A. Okay, so let's have a look at part B. Find the probability that less than three players on the team are left-footed. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. So less than three players, that's going to be the, um, what we've got to do here is find the probability of no players being uh, left-footed plus the probability of one player being left-footed plus the probability of two players being left-footed. So you've just got to work out these three, add them up. So it's going to be the probability that um, no players are left footed is going to be 11 choose 0, 0 0.15 to the power of 0, and then 0 0.85 to the power of 11 minus 0, which is 11, plus probability of one player being left footed, we've already worked it out up here, uh, and that's 0.325, so that's what I'm going to use here, 0 0.325 plus two players, that's going to be 11 choose 2, uh, 0 0.15 to the power of 2, and 0 0.85 to the power of 11 minus 2, which is uh, 9. So you've got to work that out. It's all um, calculator work. Again, work them out individually and then add them up. So your answer to two decimal places should be 0 0.78, and that's to 2. Uh, decimal places. That's it for part B. Let's have a look at part C. The goalkeeper is left-footed. Find the probability that at least eight of the remainder of the team are right-footed. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. So really in this part of the question we're dealing with ten players. 
uh, we're going to ignore the uh, goalkeeper here. So um, what I'm going to do here is just take the probability of being right-footed as 0 0.85 again and the probability of being left-footed is 0 0.15. Because they've asked us now to find the probability that at least eight of the remaining team are right-footed, what I'm going to do is take being right-footed right as success this time. So at least eight, so that's going to be the probability of eight plus the probability of nine plus the probability of 10 players being right-footed. Okay, so what we've got to do here is take our 10 players and we've got to choose eight of them. And we want the probability of success here now to be 0 0.85, probability of being right-footed, that's to the power of eight. And then we've got 0 0.15 to the power of 10 minus eight, which is two. We've got to add 10, choose nine, same thing again. 0 0.85 here to the power of 9 and then 0 0.15 to the power of 10 minus 9 which is 1 and finally 10 choose 10 and that's going to be 0 0.85 to the power of uh, 10 and 0 0.15 to the power of 0 10 minus 10 is 0 okay so again you've just got to work all of that out um, do each one individually add them up and you should get the two decimal places 0 0.82. And that's it for this question.